Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, you know you're, where you're at. You know what time it is. It's time for another segment of Why are You Telling My Business? Don't be telling my business. Well, I can, can, and I can, can, I can, can, I can, can, and I will. Well, we're going to be talking about Devon Franklin and his subsequently calling himself filing for a divorce uh, from his estranged wife, Megan Good. But let's just take a look at some of these photos of Mr. Devon Franklin and see if we can uh, put him to the test because we know you don't ever put the Lord to the test. You don't test the Lord, okay? He might he he don't really try to test us because he gives us free will, all right. But some of these people that he is surrounding himself is kind of questionable, if you get my drift. Like a little sugar in the tank. Mhm. Mm yes, 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 yes. I'm just saying. Some of these photos that I had tried to collect to put through my video for visuals, it just don't seem like he's a straight heterosexual man. It seems like he kind of on the down low. And we all know Mario Van Peoples. He tried to play that straight role at once upon a time here and there. I know y'all remember him on Say the Bill and some other thing, but he was gay. All right, and then this is a gentleman in this picture with him. I don't know if it's one of his buddies he work out with, but he's kind of questionable too. All right, and to me, Megan has always been Megan herself. So we do know that her soon-to-be ex-husband is a movie producer. And even when she was on the set of filming that picture called Intruder, she was doing a lot of sexual scenes. But like I said, people in the industry, they can still be God-fearing people. Uh, not taking that away from them. But it's just their career choice that put them in that circle where they are being looked at and deemed, you know, how you call it. Um, they're being judged by really, really self-righteous people in the church, in the pulpit as well. But she's never hid her sexuality. She always loved to get in these risque type of clothing and show off her body because she's in Hollywood. She's been bit by the entertainment book and she has a nice body and she wasn't doing no harm until she called herself wanting to put the spotlight on her and hooking up with a film producer slash pastor. And you know, they always say in the uh, Bible built in a black uh, type of uh, um, culture. We don't show our assets. You know what I'm saying? We kind of cover up. We try to dress conservative. We kind of like to have clothes on and you try to figure out what's behind these clothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, show me a little scheme. Don't show me enough to make me want to, you know, go against my religion unless I'm married type of situation. Okay, more to the more to the uh, imagination, and less to be desired by showing us your full flesh body where we have nothing to imagine. That's the kind of insight we have in the black church. All right, we want you to dress lady like, not hook a street on time. Okay, we don't want you to you know we, we want you to keep that freak behind closed doors. We don't want the freak to come out and be socialized with every man or woman that likes what the goodest that you're showing them we don't want the goodest or uh, tossed out there for everybody to see so it's supposed to be for your husband okay and the same goes for women preachers you know you're supposed to get up there and direct yourself accordingly cover up the body and uh to prevent anyone from temptation is basically what it is but they were trying to say uh, Megan was acting like a little Jezebel spirit running around now, dressing all risque, wasn't caring for the church or how it was making her husband look and this, that, and the third. He was actually taking up for his wife. Like, she could dress how she want to dress. That's between her and the Lord. And he's going to defend her to the day he died. At least that's what he gave us the, um, the thoughts and patterns he was going, that he was going to protect her and he's going to be with her for a lifetime. Now to kind of like offset things here and there. You know, he knew he had a look of wife. And she throwing up the devil sign, horn sign. I don't know what that all that's all about. Uh, but, you know, for those who are in the conspiracy theory and we researched the Illuminati, we know that's like hell to Satan type of uh, 
symbol uh, symbolism that they throw up but um yeah megan didn't hit it real well with anybody in the bible beating bra beating sector okay they wanted her to straighten up or, or get out pretty much and her husband was trying to help her um with some little blowback that some of the parishioners were talking about her whispering about her talking out loud about her where everybody could hear and he didn't like it but then I'm thinking was Megan trying to protect him because maybe Devon was pretty much on a down low and he needed to have a coverage to keep his image intact with what the people want versus what he wanted behind closed doors was really not a woman but a man. That's just my theory. Go with me on it. Okay. Because you can kind of look. Look through his pictures. Look who he's hanging with. You know, Kurt Franklin. He ain't the best little person to be trying to hang with when you're trying to flaunt your heterosexualness or your I'm all testosterone. Ain't got a little beat in me that wants to be a down low brother or a violent bisexual type relationship or even in a gay relationship no but it just it just gives us that idea because i know i did hear somewhere when megan was doing an interview they had an issue about having children now when they got married it was something like she still wanted to focus on her career she wanted to put a little bit more uh work into her art her craft which is entertaining us through acting she's a very good actress and she has definitely played some parts that will leave the church uh parishioners uh eyes popping out and their jaws dropping to the floor okay so maybe they were saving each other in a sense but not really speaking out their truth i mean megan was and uh, uh, you know a good bit but she wasn't that type of person like she wanted to wait because she's that already been experienced if you get my drill but i guess to formulate their marriage uh she had to wait until it was time to for her to be like a pre-bride a pre-version uh because i'm guessing he had never been deflowered or i'm thinking you know or maybe he was and he was just trying to do right and not go on and have sex with her and spoil that surprise that they would both have and share in the bedroom once they did get married because he had waited or put himself in celibacy and she did the same and if they're really kind of sexual active or were at the time you know and then they had the cold turkey stop for a couple of months or, or a year or so before they got married it was being put to the test but did they both succeed we don't know because we weren't there okay so it's several different outlooks you can look at this story and say it wasn't gonna work i don't know what they were doing him being a film producer he's him seeing all kind of nice looking men all kind of nice looking ladies and he might have to doss himself down because he was you know headed more so for the male side but he didn't want to get out because he wanted to be a preacher he felt that this is what the lord called him to do and he needed to walk in his faith and leave that other thing alone uh, which is pretty much frowned upon in the church uh, laws and bylaws of the Bible. But of course, you know, gays have gotten rights now, lesbians have gotten rights now, and they can participate in marriage and have a family. Not the traditional way of doing things, but they can always adopt or get someone to surrogate their child or whatnot and have a family. Okay, they have rights now. You can't infringe on them. Okay, you just got to love them, like them, or leave them. Okay, it's your choice. But it's a law. You can't, you know, discriminate against them as well. So, you know, I'm like, oh, I just don't get it, you know. I mean, uh, he did express he wanted to have children. She had said that she wanted to have children, but just not right now. Okay, and not right now turned into nine years down the road where nothing was happening but them having sex, protective sex, to prevent a pregnancy, and that's all they got. And maybe it was just like, shoot, you know, I'm tired of living this lie, you know. You like what you like, I like what I like, and too many people are just jumping in our business, meaning fans parishioners deacons motherboard 
and, and probably first ladies around the country because everywhere she would go she's going to dress how she want to dress how risque how sexy how soothing to her taste she's going to do what she's going to do and then you got Devon up there looking like he has to protect her he has to be the soundboard of you know this is my wife she's doing right by me i don't know what y'all doing you know just making a whole lot of thing when the bible strictly says dress appropriate you are the first lady as such you should conduct yourself and don't walk around here like a little hook or hoe jezebel spirit to tempt other men or women to want to be with you meaning lusting after you that's basically what the bible was saying and the people were trying to get devon to understand what his wife is doing is tempting their husbands their boyfriends or hell tempting the same sex to want to go after her when they know it's wrong so as it looks like everybody had a good say to say who's right hey only the lord knows but i just thought it very interesting that you know everybody was jumping on megan when it could have been devon all along he's not living his true self he's not living his true life that he want to live and it may be with another man you just never know people you just never know we got to think from all perspectives because i'm telling you some of these pictures are not flattering towards him to be a heterosexual man it's giving me something totally different now i may be wrong in my um about observation of this situation but i'm like for one you see what megan has always given the tv screen she's on that new show on netflix or it's hulu it's called harlem or it might be all black a uh, streaming service that she's being shown on and just a couple of episodes ago, she was supposed to be making love with this man, and he had tossed up his booty, wanting him wanting her to eat his booty. Forget licking the penis and, and stroking the penis and, and sucking on the penis. Forget that. He wanted her to eat his butt crack. And I'm like, I don't know where that came from, but that would never be in my my uh what you call it bed uh. What do you call it? Bed tales that you have with your mate. You would never know because it would never happen. You know? I ain't going to say I wasn't looking on the, 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 the little pole, one, you know, when I was married and stuff like that. I ain't going to say he wasn't doing it to me. Okay? That's a, that's a backdoor conversation. But we sure ain't finna get down where no feces come out. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. That's just pure derangement right there. And no, I don't want to hear the naysayers say don't don't like it unless you try it. I ain't gonna try that. Just like I ain't never tried to try chitlins. They stink, okay? But they are a fan favorite in the black culture, all right? So I can't say what I ain't gonna do because that's just one of them things I ain't gonna do. And right now I'm too old to be trying to lick at the pipe no more. So that's probably gonna be a no no too. And I don't want them to go down on me either. Okay, because things just gotten to be a little, you know, too crazy out there. And I like the way my body operates right now. I mean, it got dust, it got cobwebs down there, but it just is what it is. You know, I'm taking care of myself. So if the Lord wants to see fit to bless me with another husband, then we'll have to talk this thing through. But like I said, it's got cobwebs down there, and I kind of like it down there unless I look at movies or get in a mood or what sexual sensual thing. Then things start to get wet down there. But, you know, other than that, if you don't put yourself in that situation, you won't have that problem. If you pray for that stuff not to be put in your memory banks, your thoughts, or let you see anything, you'll be good. You'll be good. You ain't got to worry about all that. It's called self-control. Especially when you ain't got nobody, you ain't looking for nobody. But not saying I don't want nobody. But just going there, I just gave y'all a little too much right there. I know, I know. Let me get back to the video. Okay, but we were we, getting, we talking about, we talking about making good. And she looking good out there for herself and for men. Or if she kind of like to uh, maybe bisexual, she might be doing it for the women too. But I just catch her as a heterosexual woman. She like the dick, okay? She like the men. But yeah, Devon, he's kind of, <laughs> you know, suspect in my book. I'm just saying. But y'all get down in them comments. I don't talk a little bit too much about it. You know, I know everybody had a little uh, time they want to say a little something, something here. So 
y'all get down in them comments. That's where y'all get down and y'all tell me what y'all thought about the video. And sometimes y'all go a little further and tell me how I put the video together was just not right. <laughs> or it was boring as hell or whatever. So, you know, I give you the right of way to go on and say, you know, Mama Dale or uh, Auntie Dale or uh, this, uh, you know, Cousin Dale or Sister Dale. You know, however y'all see me, Grandmama Dale. You know, just drop your comments down. You know, I like hearing from you, and I do try to respond to each and every one of you all. Um, and, you know, when you come in the house, hit that like button. It ain't going to cost you, it ain't going to hurt, nothing, none of that. Okay, we just here at the house having a good time, uh, talking about a particular video that I put out for y'all to partake in and give me y'all input on it. And, and the foundation of the video and the people I was talking about, what y'all felt about it. Because I know y'all got something to say. You know, since y'all talking to yourself about it, we can come over to the house, talk to me about it, and um, let me know what you felt about the situation. Okay, and as you're leaving, you know, going back to your homes and this, that, and the third, you know, finish chilling with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share. Share those videos out, guys. That's how we grow. And we get more family members in the chat to be talking to about subject matter, which was the video. But y'all be blessed, and I will see y'all next time. I just needed to get this video out because I've been wanting to do it. But I was like, mm, I don't think I want to touch that right now. And this was the proper time to do it in 2021 with a bang, okay? We might as well go out with something else. Nene got her house sold. Nene talking about Nene want to go back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she's doing all this foolishness so they can catch their eye and watch and see she's still giving drama but it's not the kind of drama we want to see i don't want to see nene back on real housewives of atlanta because it's just like she's slapping her own self in her face you know it's just like she's throwing the whole doo-doo mess in her face you know instead of rising above all of what she had did in 2021 and trying to make it better for herself and her family for 2022. I mean, somebody else will go go to Zeus Network or something. Or some all black stream and see if you can get something out there. Hell, Bob ain't the only uh, rodeo in town in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Hell is built on ratchetness. And if that's where you want to continue to do yourself, Nene, go with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? shoot but anyway that's all i have for this video guys love you and i'll see you out on the next video bye bye